everybody. Welcome to Get Real with Andy. Today's topic is pretending. You know, children pretend all the time, and they do it in their play. Um, <laughs> I actually think of a story. I used to be a nursery school teacher, and there was a bunch of kids were playing house together, and there was a little girl who was playing the mama, and some of her friends were her children, and they kept coming to her asking for things, and she was wearing some high-heeled grown-up shoes and a big long dress, and she tripped over the shoes and fell down and bumped her head. But that didn't end the, the play acting. The other kids kept asking her for stuff, Mommy, Mommy, this, and she didn't skip a beat. She said, Not right now, girls. Mommy has a headache. <laughs> it was the funniest thing. So pretending can be very innocent uh, and sweet and... I think we may be the only species that really pretends to be other than we are, and we have fun with it. We uh, we have a whole entertainment industry based on pretending, uh, you know, and actors. That's how they make a living, and we we reward those people and admire the ones that really can pretend the best. But there is another aspect of pretending, where it. it reeks of inauthenticity, where we're pretending to be something other than we are, not because we're playing, but because we're hiding. We don't want to feel certain things. We don't want to reveal certain things. And that kind of pretending is so tiresome. I know. I, I do it. Sometimes I'll, I have a rough start in the morning or something, but I go to work anyway, and I'm there for my clients, and and I'm pretending that I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm pretending that I'm okay being there when I really wish I was back in bed at home or, or with somebody or, you know, something like that. So that can be somewhat benevolent pretending that's inauthentic. It's misrepresenting really where I am. But the deeper level of pretending that's malevolent is where we actually lose touch with our real self and we fragment into other parts of us and they take over these other aspects of us as if they are who we are. And when that's not the case, life becomes really tedious and difficult and we have to keep our story straight and it's just so it's just so hard. You know, and I see I work with groups of people in the healing circle at Hippocrates Wellness, where when the defenses come down, when the protections drop, and the person becomes just more true to what they're really feeling and where they're really at, a whole other dimension of togetherness opens up where we actually stop pretending. We, we stop pretending that we live forever. We stop pretending that we're all-powerful. We stop pretending that we don't need love or support and then when we get down to what's real it's just so lovely so vulnerable and then when we can be real have a foundation of real that's when pretending can turn into the level of play i find myself when i'm in a great space i am so playful and people like that i like it when people are playful with me but the best playfulness happens on the foundation of being real together. Otherwise, playful is just another way to avoid. You know, I've been with people that they make jokes all the time, and there's like, eh, I don't know, it's just not, they haven't made effort to connect with me, and they're already being playful. It's not that real. All right, so that's my message. Pretending. I don't want to be... The Great Pretender. Isn't that a movie or a song or something? I don't want that. I want to be real. And I want people in my life to be real with me. And that takes some effort. It takes vulnerability. It takes honesty. And it takes self-revealing. Those are the real elements of intimacy that I'm seriously interested in. And I invite you to be real with yourself. Stop pretending. That's another way to say it. Just stop pretending. Get real. That's the permission that I speak out loud when we first start 
the healing circle. It is an invitation to everybody. It is permission to everybody. And I tell you, once one person gets real, it's like a beautiful domino effect. And before long, we don't even want to leave the room, even when our time is up, because we just want to be in that space. It turns into this lovely hot tub type of experience where, yes, hot tub is a good metaphor because we're all naked in there and we're just together, not hiding anything and just relaxing. <sighs> all right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.